Don't let the spirit reside in a cluttered heart. Take some time to clean it up today. Joe Stoll writes, My garage serves as storage for things that don't have a place in our home. And frankly, there are times when I'm ashamed to open the door. I don't want anyone to see the clutter. So periodically, I set aside a work day to clean it up. Our hearts and minds are a lot like that. They accumulate lots of clutter. As we rub shoulders with the world, inevitably, perhaps unknowingly, we pick up ungodly thoughts and attitudes, thinking that life is all about me, demanding our rights, reacting bitterly toward those who have hurt us. And before long, our hearts and minds are no longer clean and orderly. And while we think we can hide the mess, eventually it will show. Paul pointedly asked in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Which makes me wonder if God often feels like He's living in our messy garage. Perhaps it's time to set aside a spiritual work day, and with His help, get to work clearing out the clutter. Discard those thoughts of bitterness. Bag up and throw out the old patterns of sensual thoughts. Organize your attitudes. Fill your heart with the beauty of God's Word. Make it clean to the core, and then leave the door open for all to see. I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 12-20, through 20, which reminds us of the Lord's desire to fill us with His presence. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 12-20. through 20. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Foods for the stomach, and the stomach for foods. But God will destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God both raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up by His power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? Certainly not. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Father, help us today, right now, to take time to do some spiritual cleaning. Show us what we need to remove. Forgive us for those sins. Help us to walk with you today. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And as you think about today's meditation, remember, don't let the Spirit reside in a cluttered heart. Take some time to clean it up today. My name is Les Lamborn.